out now for semi-final number two in the compound women's individual. We have a big one, a matchup between two heavyweights in this division. Let's go down for the athlete introductions. On target number one, representing la France, Sophie Dodemont. On target number two, representing India, Giyati Surakavena. The line judge for this match is Maki Neka. Well, this is a massive matchup between two of the powers in this sport. Sophie Dodemar of France, 48 years young, and the world number 14, up against Jyoti Sureka Venom of India, 25 years old, and the world number three. Dodemar picked up an Olympic team bronze medal in 2008 in Beijing before switching to compound archery. Jyoti Sureka Venom picked up a silver medal at the Hyundai Archery World Cup final last year. It is Venom to shoot first in semi-final number two. Straight on the spider, the very center of that target. Standard these two have set. <laughs> two X's and a 10 for Venom for a 30. Perfect score. No. Just going high into the nine for Dodemont. So Venom getting the early lead, but what quality from the start of this match. I mean, it's certainly what we expected. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I believe that Jyoti Venom was the first female compound archer to shoot that perfect 150. So she's still on for it now. Can she do it again? In, comp in, in televised competition, I should add yes. to that as well. <laughs> difficult enough as it is but when you've got a bunch of cameras pointing at you it makes it even tougher these two have faced each other already today in the mixed team gold medal match uh, Venom coming away with the win with Abhishek Verma 152 149 Dodo on that occasion teamed up with JP Bush the back out again that experience perhaps of the field may, may be an indicator of why the quality is so high at the start of this match yeah, it's certainly useful if you've been on before, already shot some uh, team matches, you're used to the venue and it helps with the nerves as well. Start of the second end of this compound women's individual semi-final. Sophie Dodemont trailing by one to Jyoti Venom. Shoots first. No. Just a few little movements you can see with that shot. Not a lot, though. A little bit of wind on the shirt no. of JT. Hold a few movements. Wasn't quite happy with it. Well, could this one be about the adjustments to the conditions? A smile from Dodemont, the 29. Matched. 
by Venom. And Nikki, I'll ask you the same question. Is it going to be about who adjusts better to the conditions? Because it does look like it's just ever so slightly changeable. Not a strong wind, but changeable. Yeah, and look into the crowd. Lots of umbrellas have gone up as well, so perhaps a little bit of rain to deal with. Can be a little bit more tricky compound with the rain, so they are looking through a peep sight in the back of the string and a magnified sight as well, so you don't want to get any rain spots on those really. Keep everything nice and clear. Perhaps that first arrow, the, the, the winch from her, what she's suggesting that's, that's not the best shot or that she, she did get affected? She just didn't look too happy with it, did she? So I, I think I could see a bit of movement in that first shot and just wasn't sort of solid and committing to it. So just out into the nine. So still a one point lead for Jyoti Shereka Venom. Sophie Dodemont will start at the beginning of the third. No. Maybe that's an over adjustment now. JT is quite a follow through the shot. I think you know she's very much a surprise shot, and you sort of see her body move a little bit and react. That's just because she's hanging on to it, and then I think she's on a hinge, and that hinge just releases, and then her body just reacts. Third 29 in a row for Dodemont. Oh, Second. 30 maximum for Jyoti Shereka Venom and she's opened her lead up to two points with two ends to go just six arrows per archer to decide who's going to go into the gold medal match now Nikki did she spotted the umbrellas have gone up out there you can hear a little bit of pitter patter of rain but it doesn't look like it's quite over the range yet yeah see it on the target face there's a couple of spots on the target and the uh, on the arrows as well so i don't you know this is not going to be something that affects them if we got really heavy rain sometimes that can actually push the arrows down but in these sort of conditions it's not going to be a problem it might actually stop the wind a little bit often when it starts to rain the wind uh, calms down but it doesn't seem too bad out there at the moment just have a look at JT's arrows there she's just checking her fletchings but notice she's got a little nick out of one of them and so if you if one of your arrows sort of goes through another one as it goes into the target you can get a little tiny tear that could be flappy if you just cut it out a little bit <laughs> you can get away with that fletching without replacing it two point lead for India in this semi-final Venom leading 89 to 87 Dodemont to shoot first. Just pick up the little specks of rain on Dodemont's glasses on the peak of her cap. No. No. Fairly long hold, she wasn't happy with it. She knows what's going wrong. No. <laughs> she didn't look happy with that one either, Venom. No. See that movement bit shaking, it's almost like an anchor point was just moving slightly. Ten will maintain the two-point lead, and she puts it into the ten. So despite her lowest score so far, Venom has held on to a two-point lead after four ends. So we enter the fifth and final end. Certainly not over. Certainly from uh, the last two 
end. There's, uh, there, are, there are chances here for Dodemont. Yeah, just two points in it, so that is possible to push to a tie, possibly come back from uh, to take a win. So Dodemont's just got to draw on her, all her experience. She's a former Olympic medalist in the team round back in 2008. Um, but Jyoti obviously on form here. Second arrow went off and it looked uh, like she was more shocked than she has been. Start of the fifth and final end. Dodemont trailing by two. Has to put down some big scores to put Venom under pressure. <laughs> I think that was a look of, I was lucky there, I just caught the line. It's a big chance here for another perfect nine to do it. And it's right in the middle of the target. It is a third perfect score. And a 147 plays 145 as Jyoti Shireka Venom makes more than a billion fans happy. 